I'm curses, man. I'm curses. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. He's not this is he that weakened the nations? <laughs> Shalom. Koholo Yahweh Shemel Shabbat Shemel Kakadash. The bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders, the great millstone rule well and tells this truth. Much respect to you brothers out there, just preaching this word in the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hope for lack and the speckled bird, I want to say shalom. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, <laughs> hey, the Lord, the Lord's doing his thing, man. Putting the curses upon our enemies, man. Matter of fact, I'll get there real quick. This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, all right? Because you had this Edomite, not at this... Uh, not at the atonement camp, but, um, you know, the regular camp, pretty much while we was closing, you saw this Edomite <laughs> in a horrible, horrible condition, man. And this kingdom, Babylon the Great America, has been built up for you to prosper. And so pretty much, <laughs> hey, this dude's a four-time loser, man. So right here, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and the Lord... And the Lord, yeah, how will thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee? All right, so you're seeing the curses be put upon these other nations that have persecuted us, has been over us, especially Esau, you know, see the opioids and, and you see this Edomite right here with his pants sagging. <laughs> he probably ain't got no drawers, man, you know. And as we was quoting, we was quoting some scriptures at the camp at the time, you know, like, hey, this is the man. This is the man. <laughs> All right. Matter of fact, we'll have to get those scriptures. But, um, hey, Koholo Yahabashim El Shah, man. All right. These curses are being poured upon our enemies. Matter of fact, let's get this in uh, Isaiah 14. It's Isaiah 14 and verse 12. How art thou fallen? from heaven O Lucifer now when you go into Lucifer it means light bring, bringer light bearer alright cause a Christian will read this scripture and think that it's talking about the spiritual demon Satan no okay the spiritual demon Satan is in order matter of fact read Job 1 and other various chapters alright that fallen angel doctrine is not in the bible Okay, it's not in the Bible when you actually read it. All right, the fallen angels is talking about the Israelites, us. Okay, those are everlasting chains of darkness that you read in, in the book of Jude. That's talking about us being in these fleshy bodies that are decaying day by day. All right, and so Lord willing, we those men will be of the first fruits. We're waiting to get those new bodies, all right, for the second covenant to come in effect. And to keep the law, says his commandments perfectly, and for us to be in rulership. But uh, that's another lesson for another day. All right, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? All right, how art thou fallen, Lucifer? So we seen your fall right before our very eyes, man. And this man, hey, he knows something, man. He's seeing the chariots. He's scrambling. He's um, getting ready to get this MOTB started up. All right. And once you get that started up, it's going to be falling down like lightning, man. You, you through. <laughs> just like this just like this Edomite, man. Just through. All right. Put them in the coffin. <laughs> it says, did us weaken the nations. You weaken us. You had us. You had your foot over our nape. And then for the other nations, the other nations have fallen after your your ways and now you see in some of these other countries they're actually uh putting to death people that's in the uh, abc i'm gonna say it like that abc community man <laughs> for thou hast said in thine heart i will ascend into heaven i will exalt my throne above the stars of power i will sit also upon the mountain, the congregation, and the sides of the north, I will send upon the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. And, and who's done that, man? That's Esau Edom. 
in one breath he's saying that there is no God in the other breath he's painting himself as as the Lord and you see the other nations have not done it Where, where's the Moab and em Amalek it's like your Moab and uh, Ammon uh, who they called Jesus nowhere to be found man all right Esau Edom is the only nation that has done that painting himself to be the most high trying to implement laws as if he's <laughs> if he's if it's as if he's God okay matter of fact you're uh trying to go carbon neutral carbon uh zero carbon something something to that effect man I'm gonna have to do a lesson on it you know this man's trying to be like like the Lord himself man able to calculate how much carbon you using how much pollution you losing using all right let's see uh verse 15 yet thou shall be brought down to hell to the size of the pit you're gonna be brought down and this edomite right here hey, he's already brought down okay they that see thee see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did it shake the kingdoms all right and when you do your research all right who was the president at the time president truman was the president at the time that dropped the uh, atomic bomb and so guess what in the kingdom of heaven he's gonna wake up and he's gonna be in slavery man and the other nations especially uh emmett they're gonna be looking at him sideways man like hey this is the man you, you was once <laughs> At the top, man, you was at the top of your game. Now look at you. You at the bottom with the rest of us. That's how they're gonna be. Verse 17 that made the world as the wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, and opened not the houses of the of his prisoners. You know, and that's the unrighteousness of Esau Edom, man. Alright, he's destroyed cities. He came with his sword, the blessed of the sword. To rape, rob, and murder, pillage. Alright. And who the who's the majority in the prisons, prison houses? As Jake, man. Let's get a couple more scripts and we'll go ahead and close out on this. This is Job 27 and verse 6. My righteousness I hold fast, and I will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me as long as I live. Alright? And you're supposed to endure to the end, keep this righteousness unto the end, so Lord willing you get beamed up. Let my enemy be as the wicked. And he that rises up against me as the unrighteous, for what is the hope of the hypocrite? All right, because they say that this is a Bible believing country, but you see the laws and you go against this place, it pretty much shows that this place is a hypocrite. Though he have gained, when power take it away his soul, will Yahweh Shai hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him? Will the Lord hear, hear his? <laughs> hear his cry when trouble comes upon him no alright cause you put it on yourself man you did it to yourself as King David said you know let, let your enemy be as wicked let them continue in their wickedness man alright cause when death hell and destruction comes upon them it ain't gonna be pretty for them we get these last scriptures right here this is Job 20 in verse 5 that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment all right it's only but for a moment man Com compared to the kingdom of heaven it's only going to be like you only rule for like <laughs> one little breath man and i also got to say this you got a lot of uh super rich out there that's trying to prep because the super rich know what time it is man all right and, and guess what you ain't gonna be enjoy you ain't gonna be able to enjoy your riches you may some of them may escape the nuclear missiles but hey that's that's all up to the Lord because the the ones that escape the nuclear missiles they're gonna be the first ones to go into slavery man verse 6 though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds he's proud Get that proud pumping spirit. You go into our Proverbs 6. Alright, these six things that the Lord hates, and one of the six things that the Lord hates is pride. Okay? This man, hey, he's that lump of clay that's made to dance on the Lord. That's made to be destroyed. It's the vessels that are fitted for destruction. 
What's going to happen to these people, man? Yes, shall he perish forever like his own dung? They which have seen him shall say, where is he? All right. Once again, as, as we read in Isaiah 14, like, hey, th is this the man? Wasn't you on top of the game? Was you on top of the world, man? Is, is this the man? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. And the eye which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more be behold him. All right, so when they get out of power, it's going to be as, as a dream, man. It's going to be as a dream, all right? And, um, you know, you read the book of Obadiah, all right? When you read in the book of Obadiah, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau after you done <laughs> building up our houses, man, building up the kingdom. Hey, that's righteousness, man. But um, I'm in it right there. Lord willing, it's edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, El Shah, Bashem, Kargadash, and the Wild Obama, Bashem, Wong.